Hello, everybody. Welcome to Closing Ceremonies. Woo. First of all, thank you so much for coming. Uh, it's been an awesome two days. Uh, I'm so happy to have every one of you here. Um, you know, we would not be a conference without each and every one of you as the participants adding to the conversations. And again, uh, it's just, it's been an amazing two days. So thank you again. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about attendance. Um, we had uh, almost 1,500 uh, tickets purchased. Uh, and uh, that, inclu that doesn't include any presenters, volunteers, sponsors, or staff. Uh, and we had uh, about 1,200 uh, actually check in for the presenters, and so, you know, 84%. And so I think that's, that's an awesome number to actually show up. I really appreciate it. Uh, so networking internet, uh, as you can see, this is our, our, our uh, router on top of a um, soda machine back in the back corner. Um, we pushed almost 300 megabits a second is peak. Uh, then we had 352 gigabytes uh, pushed. Uh, 571 devices total, which is awesome to actually trust our network. I don't know why you would do that at a hacker conference. Like, that's it. Yeah. Um, and again, we did this based off uh, six Unify devices and, uh, and several AC pros as well. Uh, and then, of course, several rogue APs. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so uh, we had a one gateway connection from WebPass um, that was set up on the roof uh, over on the other side. Uh, they did a, uh, yeah, the, this device they used was an ether hall and it's 80 gigahertz to an adjacent bit, uh, building. Uh, now helping run the network this year is a guy known as Video Man. He does a lot of the other networks for several other cons. Uh, so if you had looked at the weather lately, uh, you'll notice that uh, Minneapolis had a big snowstorm um, about two days ago. Well, uh, so his flights were all canceled, and so all the equipment that was on his, uh, that he was going to bring with him, he could not. So luckily enough, we saw this coming, and, uh, and we're able to basically go and buy a bunch of stuff on Amazon on uh, next day delivery. Uh, and so we basically built this, uh, this networking cart basically, um, thanks to two of our staffers, uh, Ryan and Ian, um, and uh, video man David uh, was there with us uh, remotely, helping getting us everything going, and so we would not have a network without uh, the three of them. So I just wanna give a special round of applause to them. Uh, okay, so capture flag tournament. Um, we had uh, 39 challenges this year. Uh, 341 players total, and 140 different teams. Uh, so let's talk about the winners. Uh, as you're called, uh, please come to the front room and we can give you your prizes. Uh, so for third place, we have uh, NUS Grey Hats with 4,895 points, and they're going to get a Hack5 Packet Squirrel and some lovely Hacker1 swag. Cool, thanks again. And for second place, we had SE Works with 5,320 points. And they get an Android, uh, sorry, an Arduino starter kit and lovely HackerOne swag. As HackerOne is the sponsor of the CTF this year. And in first place, we have um, DCUA, Duca, uh, something uh, with 6,620 points, and they get an Ubertooth One uh, with some a really cool swag. So, do we have anybody representing uh, DCUA here? Nobody? All? Oh. Well, if that's the case, you must be present to win. Um, then we'll we'll figure out and uh, and make sure that uh, the, we'll swap out the prizes and uh, get the next uh, runner up for that. Um, so, cool, we'll, we'll move on, thank you. Uh, let's talk about the IoT Village CTF. Um, they had a really amazing suite of, of different devices to play with. Uh, they had 12 different teams, um, and the winners for, for their challenge, then they've, uh, you know, have already been contacted about this. Uh, third place was Nor Tango Dog with 1,000 points. 
Second place was uh, Nis Nisowski uh, with 2,000 points. Uh, first place was Who Am I with 3,000 points. So round of applause to all of them. Mm. Uh, Living Security Escape Room, uh, they had 12 escape rooms uh, running in the back corner in villages. Uh, amazing teams. Uh, the winning team, uh, by an astounding uh, two minutes over the second place team, uh, is the Cats, uh, with uh, 24 minutes and 17 seconds out of a 30 minute time period. Uh, and in that team uh, included Ursula, Dr. Another Cat, Carolyn, Nick, and Hansen. And they're going to be each receiving a cybersecurity uh, card game called Cyber uh, Security Cards. Um, and again, thanks to all the participants. Uh, everyone did a great job. So sponsor raffles, uh, we had a couple of the sponsors do separate raffles than ours, just uh, at, at their own booths. Uh, so just want to announce the, uh, the winners here. Uh, Cloud Passage for an Intel Nook, uh, it was Angel Barrera. Uh, T-Cell gave away a Nintendo Switch. Um, to uh, Vita, I'm, I'm really bad with names, sorry. And Nana Dush, yeah, sorry, I'm not even trying. Um, and Dimension Data gave an Amazon tap to, uh, to uh, her mom. Uh, the puzzles in the program, I don't know if anyone saw, but there's actually four puzzles in the program this year. Uh, the first one, uh, the answer is welcome to B-Sides, and it's just a simple cesarean cipher. Um, it's a shift. Uh, so A equals zero, B equals one, and so it was A equals 10 equals K. For puzzle number two, uh, the answer was Asem Asambar Kingdom Brunel's magic bun went down the rabbit hole, and it's a transposition rail fence cipher. Uh, it makes perfect, uh, five perfect Vs when written out. The most notable is, the, um, is that the letter I is in a zero, and the next letter N is a 10. The 10 is based off the first year of B-sides, which is 2010. Uh, and Brunel created the steam-powered SS Great Britain. So again, coming with, with the steampunk theme. Puzzle three, oh, what an implement of torture I've acquired in you. Uh, if you copy and place that directly in the converter, uh, they it convert directly to binary. Press is gibberish, then you do a base 64 conversion, dividing the remaining groups into groups of six using a base 64 table. Uh, this is a quote from Lord Byron, a 19th century poet, um, and about his only legitimate daughter, Ada Lovelace. And the final puzzle uh, is, you didn't have to say my name, ignite my search and start a flame, but you did Augusta at a, a King Noel Br uh, Byron. And uh, this is very complicated, but basically uh, convert all the hex to decimal binary, uh, and then once you convert from hex, uh, the rest won't work, then you had to pull stuff from the other puzzles from puzzle two, remembering the number 10, you subtract 10 from each decimal to the end, and then the decimal numbers now convert to that, after subtracting, the rest won't work. And the final part require, uh, requires converting from 6-bit to 8-bit, and from there there's a direct conversion to this, and this uh, is a steampunk song from the band Steampunk, Steam uh, Powered Giraffe. So uh, special thanks uh, to uh, <coughs> Avi for coming up with our puzzles this year. Uh, it's a new edition, uh, no prizes or anything this year, we're just kind of playing with it and see how it works. Uh, t-shirt cherries, something new we did this year. Uh, so as, as you bought one of our uh, t-shirts this year, uh, you could put a, 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 a token into one of three boxes to represent charities. And we had uh, three different charities this year. We had the EFF, Hackers for Charity, um, and Girls in Tech. And you see EFF got a little over $2,000. Hackers for Charity got almost 1000 and Girls in Tech raised a little over 2300 So let's give a round of applause to all three of those charities and for the money raised for them. So awesome. Including $3 that was actually stuck in there as well. So uh, let's talk about our sponsors. Thanks again so much to our sponsors. We would not be able to put this conference on without them. Again, special thanks to our, our leading sponsors this year, uh, Cloud Passage, Google, and HackerOne. So please give me a, a round of applause for all of our sponsors. Excuse me, I'm, uh, my voice is almost gone, so I'm going to hurry through this so we can get on to happy hour. Uh, so uh, thanks so much to my staff. Um, it's a staff of 13. 
you know, and, and these people work year round uh, to to put this conference on. It's a it's a big commitment. It takes a lot of time. Uh, you know, and our employers thankfully give us that time uh, to to spend on this. And so, if any of my staffers are here in the audience, please stand up, show yourself. I need, I see you, Steve. Stand up. So, cool. I, yeah, Asta. But yes, thanks so much to all of my staff this year. Uh, special. And special thanks to Megan. Um, she's my right right hand woman. She uh, if, if, if she keeps me in check. If I'm CEO, she is COO. She is she makes this all happen. Uh, so I know she's actually in the back right now, setting up the happy hour. But just let's do a round of applause just for Megan. Um, putting this together uh, takes a lot of time and special commitment. Uh, if any of you feel that you want to, uh, you know, have the the time and energy. Um, to help out more, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, and, you know, uh, read it at besidesf.org. I'd love to chat after the conference. Um, aside from that, we have a couple of special thanks, both to Avi for the puzzles and to Jim for all the awesome design and uh, print materials, all the cool artwork that you've seen used everywhere, all the signs, the the bags, the the badges, everything he did himself. Um, and so uh, he's not here today, but uh, I just want to do a round of applause just for Jim for that. And again, the conference would not be possible without all the volunteers. Uh, you know, again, we had 180 this year uh, that filled uh, 250 slots, and so it's uh, it's amazing. Round of applause to all of our volunteers. Thank you all. Cool. Again, feedback, as I've been saying, any kind of session Q and A uh, can go on peer list for asynchronous feedback. Um, any of you have session feedback that you want us as the, uh, the staff members to see, put it directly in the sketch, and we will take a look at that on the individual sessions. Uh, and then you have general feedback around the conference itself. Please go to besidesf.org slash feedback and give it to us. Uh, we're also gonna be sending out a survey to those that are, uh, we have your email addresses, um, send that out. And so please fill that out. We really uh, appreciate the feedback. It helps us to plan next year's con and make sure that we you know, add new cool things that people want, we take away the stuff people didn't want, make, make it work better and, and bigger and uh, you know, keep people coming. So again, uh, please provide us all the feedback you can. Really do appreciate it. And with that, uh, besides SF 2019 is next year, March 3rd and 4th. It's going to be soon. It's less than a year to go. Um, so hope to see everybody there. Uh, now, yes, indeed. Now we're about to have a happy hour sponsored by Rapid7. Um, there are a bunch of extra swag bags at the back of the room. So as you're heading back to the bar for happy hour, um, please grab a tote bag if you don't already have one or if you want to give to somebody. Um, you know, we, we need to get rid of those. I don't want to take this back with me please. So thanks. Really appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Have a great day.